The real hip hop MC and DJ. The difference of performing at clubs is a lot of the clubs are intimate. We like intimate because you get to touch the fans. You know what I mean? I still make it a point to try to jump off the stage at these big festivals because I hate being away from the people. You know what I mean? CeeLo Green said it's, you know, before he jumped down into the crowd, he said it's way too late for us to be scared of our own people, you know what I mean? So I took that into, you know, consideration years ago and started jumping down and touching people, you know what I mean? And that's the difference with these big festivals is that you don't really get to connect with people, you know, when you feel their energy when you're rapping, you know what I mean? It's a beautiful thing, and you can do that in the smaller spots, but now I even make these. I'm the first time. The, as soon as I get on stage, I see. Okay, how can I get down? Is it too high? What is it? No, my security's like tech. It's too high tonight, man. Like put a ladder up or something down there, man. Let me. Last night in Denver, Colorado, they put a ladder so I can step down so I can get down there and get back up, man. You know what I'm saying? That's how serious it is for us to touch our people in bigger places. You know what I mean? So that's the difference. Intimate settings, you can really connect. These. All those people back there on the lawn, you have no idea what they're saying, you know? Yeah. And you tell them to put their hands up in the air and then you can see who's with you. That's about it. It's cool to come up with a um, set list at all because you do what I do. If I do exactly what I do on my stage, I just cut it down. I hate to cut it down because my show is an hour and 30, hour and 35 at the most. So to cut it down to 45, I'm like, ugh. So that's the first part of the show that's really powerful. Right. So I'll take that first 30 minutes, just boom, 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 nonstop, how we do in our regular shows, and then I'll go to the end of the show, like the, the, the main songs, like I'm a Player and Caribou Lou and the songs that you know blew up over the years, you know what I'm saying, and ended, you know what I mean? But this is like the 45 minute workout, that's how I see it, you know what I mean? So I just keep it the same, I don't tailor it to fit an audience at all, you know what I mean? It's totally the same. Speak of my language. language. Tell you the truth, I've done that Dwayne video so many times in so many other settings with strange music, you know what I mean? The same strip club, it's just like normal, you know what I mean? It's something that we do. You know, I haven't been to a strip club in a long time because I don't have time. And, um, but when we do, it's a party because all the girls know we got it, you know, and um, we usually know all the girls in the spot because we used to run a strip club. Um, so pretty much all the girls in the Dwayne video are new, so it's like a reunion. We get everybody drunk. We buy the bar for all the girls and we party, man. And, um, all I got to do is try to remember the lyrics because they're brand new songs and I'm drinking and I'm like, oh, what do I say right there? So it's kind of stressful, but... After a while, you know, it came to me. It was a party, like it always is. <laughs> Make the whole spot say, Wow! It's like me is um, from a past relationship. Um, and I'm sure that uh, other people go through these things. You know what I mean? Like, you have a woman, something bad goes wrong, uh, something goes wrong, and um, instead of leaving you, she stays, but keeps pecking at you over the years, like, why are you still here? You must love to dislike me, you know what I mean? Because you're still here, you know? You you point out all my imperfections, but yet you stay, is what I say at the end, you know what I'm saying? That's nerve-wracking. I can't live this way, you know? Real spill, man. And I, I know a lot of people might feel that way, so I write music to connect, you know? album is called something else and the reason why I had to call it something else because I wanted to be narcissistic I wanted to say after all these albums that I've been an open book and I've been totally transparent I actually have something else to say you know what I mean that's crazy this late in life and I had to prove it and I did you know saying the, the fans do agree it's all on Twitter something else is truly something else something else is truly something else everybody is saying it so I didn't just I just spoke it and it says in the Bible, do you think though it is, or it says in the Quran, be and it is. So it's like, it is, because I spoke it. 
and I be that, you know what I mean? And it spread to everybody else, and everybody agrees. The, 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 the collaborations are humongous, the beats are humongous, you know what I mean? The, the content is really, 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 really turned all the way up, so um, I thank God that I still have the ability to reach people in a beautiful way and soothe the savage beast. Man. Therapy EP, November 5th. Um, uh, me, um, in the middle of November, um, Australia, New Zealand, possibly um, South Africa, I, I, I pray. Um, India is calling. Uh, we have to do um, Anchorage and um, Fairbanks and Kenai up in, um, up in uh, Alaska. You know, they're calling. So a lot of people are calling, man, and that's a good thing. All the artists on my label were planning a Strange Music CD, all of Strangers, you know, so we'll see.